Hello there and welcome. In this video we are going to take a look at bear type. So bear type is a bare metal type checker. It's uh, similar to my pi, but it claims to be faster and a little bit different. And what we would like to do is to give it a test drive. So I'm here on my trusty Windows laptop and I have basically created a virtual environment which you can see is activated and we are going to use the pip install beer type and wow I have already installed it great now what we can do is to take it for a test drive let's open up a python shell as you can see I'm using python 3.10 and from beer type we would like to import bear type and after that what we can do is basically create a type annotated uh, function with the decorator so bear type and we say that we, this is a uh, my function and what we would like to do is to have a lines argument which is a list of strings and it will return nothing but inside the function we are going to uh, print out a message and this is going to be an f string and we would like to join with the new line character the lines and yeah cannot include the backslash <gasps> come on let's do it this way we use the escape character no all right then we have a solution for that we just simply print out the lines with comma separated values so if everything goes well we should be able to do the following my function and basically we would like to call this function so we give it a list of strings okay this is fine and as you can see it executed successfully but in the minute i change this out to binary type or byte strings you will see that we have a traceback message and basically as you can see this traceback includes information from bear type what do we see in this information we see where the error occurred and we can see the following message as you can see this is a bear type call hint param violation exception and as you can see it states that the argument which is by list of byte strings violates the type hint list string as list index three item bytes be fine not instance of a string so uh, yeah this is one message that we can see and uh, what we can do is not just this basically we can uh, we can type type check anything against a specific type hint so from bear type that door import is bearable and die if unbearable these are two functions that we would like to import cannot in if unbearable die if unbearable okay so <coughs> let's check is bearable and we would like to give it a list of string this is 
comparable. And we specify that this is supposed to be a list of strings. And as you can see, this is true. And we can use the die if unbearable. And we would like to give this hex values. So 0x and let's add these values. And after that, we would have something called a list of strings. In order for this to work, what we have to do is to import from typing the unnotated and from bear type import uh, so veil import is and we create a list of strings which is going to be unnotated and basically a list of strings and the is lambda lst bool lst and uh, is factor is not callable because we have to use square brackets all right so let's go back here and copy and paste this one and use the list of strings and here we go we have an exception and let's see what this exception tells us we have the beer call type call hint return violation and it says that the return value violates the type hint annotated list string is lambda at the even at the very first in instance because it's not a string and it was uh, superseded by this exception and it states basically the door hint violation occurred all right and uh, and uh, basically that's it if you are familiar with uh, mypy you should be able to use it uh, pretty efficiently you have a decent document documentation as well so you can check whether the <laughs> you can check this explain like m5 this is the documentation for that and we have the built-in types arbitrary types unions of types and optional types so built-in types these are the dictionaries int list set and and so on and they are trivially type checked we have the arbitrary types which are basically coming from the argument parser or arbitrary callables we have the unions of types this is a bit more complex topic and we also have optional types so technically that's all i wanted to show you see you in the next one